Hello, and welcome to Spicy Toast Gaming. Thank you for tuning in to another Spicy Toast Gaming video. And today we're checking out Gwen with a uh, interesting build I came up with. So Gwen is one of the best uh, champions really in the game. A little bit slower than a lot of the people in like the S tier, but an amazing made deck, tons of s sustain, and overall just a complete package. The one issue is that Gwen doesn't really have any removal. If we take a look at her starting deck, there's nothing here for removal. Now, normally, that's not really that much of an issue. You have such powerful units that you can just attack and overwhelm the enemy, especially with your hallowed buff. And if they try to kill you, normally you don't care because you're fine with your units dying. Um, or you can use something like Glimpse Beyond to benefit from your unit dying. But I've come up with an interesting build for Gwen. So we got the Scourge's Stash. We're hopefully going to get her out on the first turn. Uh, and that's because of our star powers. Every round we're summoning a Ghastly Band. So if we have the attack token, we can just immediately attack with that unit that we didn't have to play. They shouldn't have any blockers. So we can attack, get that Plunder effect off, and then play Gwen. Every round after that, we're going to have Archangel Staff refilling our spell mana. And the Grand General's Counter Plan giving us... Gwen's Thread the Needle. So kill an ally to deal damage equal to its power to an enemy. Now, because of our starting deck, we have a lot of units that we're fine with dying uh, because of that hallowed buff, or just units like the Undying that when we kill them, they're going to come back stronger next round. So normally when you kind of max out Gwen, you end, up don't you end up not using the Undying very often because you're just ending the game immediately with... Uh, Gwen on turn four, but with this we're trying to get Gwen out earlier, but we're actually not Just focused on her and trying to end the game as fast as possible We're trying to just enjoy the game and have a uh, fun experience So being able to kill the undying every round um, or other cards if we want uh, With our thread the needle will give us really good removal. It will kind of transition Gwen into more of a um, control deck and I think it will be a great time. If you guys are enjoying the videos, please like and subscribe. Helps us out a lot. If you want to support us, you can become a member by hitting that uh, join button down below. But let's get into it. We're going to go into uh, Galio to showcase this. Aurelian's will be a little long. Alright, the best defense. This is pretty good for Gwen, because your Hallowed buff is going to give your units a lot more attack, and then a lot more health to match. Dauntless Vanguard is always a little bit of a pain um, for the Ephemeral Champions, like Misfortune or Gwen, where you're summoning Ephemeral units every round, because uh, that means the enemy is always getting always getting their Dauntless Vanguard. But we have the attack token. So we don't even need to play anything. We already have a unit. We can attack. And then we can get Gwen out on the first turn. Alright, so I want to play our Conductor. They have two mana, which means they could single combat. Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to use our spell. So we're going to kill our Conductor to kill their Vanguard. And then their Loyal Badger Bear is just going to fizzle out and not be able to attack. So unfortunately we haven't gotten one of our 
undead units yet. Um, the the Undying. All right, again, always a trick you want to do with Gwen. Put one unit ahead of her, put her second, and then she's going to get the Hallowed buff twice. So here she, we see she's going to be at 12. If she was in the first slot, she would only be at 7. So we will uh, attack like this. If we wanted, we could use our Thread the Needle to kill one of their units here, but I think we'll hold off uh, for now. Remember the fallen. All right, I think I'm gonna actually play a Ghastly Band here. Alright, in this situation, I'm just going to use our Glimpse Beyond to kill our unit to cancel out their single combat, give us a little bit more draw. Alright, got our Atrocity, nice. So we're going to kill our unit here to damage and help us kill their Badger Bear. That means their Ephemeral unit will fizzle out. Well, he'll fizzle without the attack, and then they'll just die because they're Ephemeral. Yeah, let's do a Sapling Toss. Try to drag away some of their stronger units. They're still probably going to block with something large, but we might just use an atrocity to end the game. We do have the Undying now, though. Alright, so we'll let the attack go through. We're probably going to use atrocity to finish it off, though. That was nice. Sad that we didn't get the Undying until the very end, though, as that will be a little bit more core to our strategy. I think the Ephemeral Sentry will actually be pretty good. Sure, let's stick with more Shadow Owls units, and we'll go for the Champion item chest. Not sure if you guys can hear, but it is very, very windy outside. Maybe it will finally snow here. Um, I guess we'll hold on to Senna just to increase our odds of drawing uh, Gwen. Oh, there she is. So there's not really anything we can do here. They're going to be able to attack and get their damage off. Allow me 
but we can attack here and they won't be able to block our Phantom Butler because he's fearsome, so he'll be able to deal some damage and then we can play our Gwen. And still no Undyne. We are having not the best luck. But we'll get rid of that uh, that card. We won't be able to block anything else, so... Glad we have a little bit of removal. We'll grab a sapling for next turn. Again, with Gwen, we don't really need to worry about us taking damage, because we'll be able to heal everything uh, right back up, which is nice. Very good. Alright, so she's going to be over 10. So, hopefully they try to block here, and then she can uh, kill them. just use our atrocity again to finish out the job. Another nice reason to have Gwen with that uh, Archangels. Again, we're going for more of a somewhat control-esque um, playstyle. Ooh, Ruination. That should be pretty fun. Is there seriously a truck backing up now? <laughs> oh, figures. Alright, let's go to the healer. Again, with Gwen, you almost never need to actually heal at the healer because you have such good sustain. I don't know if there's really anything I actually want to cut. Um, I guess we'll get rid of the sentry. We'd rather get, like, the Undyne. Awesome. So Alright, great, we have the Undyne. Um, I don't... Th hmm, I don't think we need two copies, especially since the Chronicler somewhat, like, makes a second copy. Uh, we'll also re-roll the Conductor. So we have the attack token. Hopefully we can attack, get Gwen on the board, and then play our Undying next turn. And then really start scaling, uh, killing him every round. Alright, so, so far, so good. And since the Undyne can't block, uh, it's a perfect use to kill him to try to uh, get some usefulness out of him on the defensive turns. Sadly, they're going to kill Gwen here. We still have another one, though. Because they're going to stun her, then they're going to make their Paddle Star that costs 1 and deals 5. See, so normally it's 3, but yeah. So unless they play something else, which I doubt. Yeah. But the good thing is, we're still summoning units every single round, so even if things go wrong, we still have a reanimating army. Ah, here we go again. Oh, 
All right, we'll try to attack here. Maybe they'll have to do something to try to stop us instead of... Ah, uh, yeah. So I could have tried to wait to play Gwen, but I wanted to get her on the board to be able to attack. Honestly, we could just use a Ruination potentially if uh, things got too annoying. Alright, we'll play Chronically here just so we start getting a couple extra Undying. Alright, all their units are elusive so we can't even block. Not looking great considering we don't have um, Gwen to heal us back up. Not the best. Like we kill Zoe. Oh, we're one away. All right, we'll attack here. We're trying to kill Zoe, but honestly, we might be able to. <laughs> kill the Nexus based on how they block. We'll actually put this Undying um, first. So I want to kill Zoe, but I also want to be able to kill their other units. <sighs> yeah, we'll go like this. We need to kill some of them, but she might level up, which will be an issue. Oh. Alright, we got her at 9, so we got her right before she would have leveled up. So that's not too bad. Alright, so they used up all their mana. Oh, we don't have enough mana for the Rear Nation. <laughs> I thought it was seven. Alright, we're going to play our Conductor to be able to block and then still have enough mana for uh, Gwen. We'll have to open attack next turn, just so we can get as big of a heal without getting um, killed or stunned or anything like that. We're trying to get rid of these elusive units here. I guess since, yeah, we didn't level up, we're not going to get the bonus. Alright, they're trying to atrocity us. We'll do a counter atrocity, so ours goes off first. <laughs> uh, Zoe can definitely be a pain sometimes. The fact that we don't have spell shield yet is a little bit of a pain. Hey, look, Spell Shield. Let's go. Uh, I think since we're going for more of a control playstyle and we just need Gwen to sit on the board, uh, Spell Shield will be more important for our build. Uh, Scout definitely is very good, though. Um, but yeah, that's just not what we're focusing on at the moment. Hmm. 
I do like that with this would summon more ephemeral units that are dying every round. I think I'll use a reroll here. We have four though. Um, sure. Let's just start with making a bigger army. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go for the, the item chest. I'm still trying to get a good game where I get Gwen on the board and I get the <laughs> Undying um, next round. I can just keep using that every single round with my um, build to kill them and just keep scaling up. <laughs> the ruination. <laughs> oh. I am gonna have to play this one round. I just feel like it's so fun. All right, we'll have to try to kill that uh, next turn. Alright, so we're actually going to get rid of the butler so we can kill their lifesteal unit. We don't want them uh, scaling. And we'll use another one of our threads to kill their uh, messenger. Since this is Galio, the longer they stay on the board, the more health they're going to get. So if we have the opportunity to kill some of their units, we're going to take it. Making sure our hallowed units are the ones to die. It just keeps reducing our ruination. I think, yeah, let's get our Chronicler out here. Still trying to increase our Hallowed buff. Yeah, let's lead with lead with this. Well, oh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> One stitch at a time will make something totally new. So many Hmm. Alright, let's get rid of that uh, spell shield. Is it going to just discount the ruination again? Oh, not quite. That worries me. That makes me think they're going to do a spell against Gwen. Alright, we'll pass here, see what uh, they're trying to do. drain these two and then get rid of one of their units. Whatever the journey brings, I welcome it. 
Uh, classic capture cards. Alright, so we'll block here just to make sure that one dies. And we will use our Glimpse so that this unit doesn't get the Fury buff. And we're benefiting without taking any damage. That's always how you want to use your... Um, what is that called? Glimpse? Yeah, Glimpse Beyond. If your unit is already going to die, just kill it yourself um, so you actually gain a benefit from it. That is a big unit. So what we're going to do, we'll attack like this, and we'll drag it to the side so it can't block. Or can't block any of our important units. So not bad, a little unfortunate that we're not getting our um, combo off that we're wanting to. Phantom Prankster should be pretty good though. Miss Risk Keepers could be decent, but I think we'll stick with the Prankster. <laughs> More ruinations. Uh, we'll just grab a barrier here. Sure, let's get that since now we've gotten uh, some more synergy. We could use this a decent amount. Really trying to go for the Shadow Isle theme. We'll buy one more just to get the extra item on there in case we actually use it. Alright, Honored Lord, Spells Chest. Uh, we'll go for the Honored Lord because that's normally a rare item for your champion. So, Swift Wing Flight, one of the more aggro decks in the Galio matchup. Alright, let's... Yeah, we'll hold on to Senna so we get more likely a chance to get Gwen. And we'll let our Trosty count down. Our small army to start the game. Since we're killing so many of our units, uh, getting a Phantom Prankster out actually will be pretty good. Just giving us a bit more burn damage. But we drew the Undying for once, so we'll go with that instead. Let's get rid of that unit. We don't want it strong enough to kill our Gwen. Ugh. Oh, well, that sucks. Well, that lasted long. <laughs> Let's get our Phantom Prankster on the board. So Challenger can often be very nice with your um, Hallowed buff. Gives you pretty good removal, because even though this card's pretty weak, it's going to grow to a good amount so we can get rid of their bigger, scarier target. We don't want it attacking, giving all their other units Challenger in 1-1. One, one. So, decent burn damage from all of our ephemeral units dying. A... 
Unfortunately, we can't block the ephemeral. But we're going to have two undines now. Alright, so we will attack like this. This should be able to end the game. Because we're planning on just using a atrocity here. So, decent, decent burn damage. And then the atrocity to finish out the game. Again, it's so amazing that that is just by default in your deck. You already have a pretty good win condition with Gwen, but that atrocity just works as an amazing backup win condition. I don't really want any of these, as more copies of Senna will reduce our chance of drawing Gwen. Let's watch use a reroll here. I mean, this is kind of funny since we're going against Viego, but I guess I'll go with the Phantom Butler. It's a pretty good two drop. All right, how many copies do I have of Gwen? So we have four copies of Gwen, two of Senna. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to roll the dice that I'm going to be able to draw our Gwen. We have more copies, so we should be fine. Uh, just making sure she's harder to kill, because we keep having issues with people killing her. <laughs> uh... I guess we'll get rid of the the sentry. No in this world can stop me. So Shadow Isles versus Shadow Isles. Should be fun. <laughs> yeah, this is fine since we already are going to have like three units at the start of the game. Again, this is another match that just, they are just going to be able to keep summoning our own unit with the Sovereign's Dominion. That'll be a little annoying, but oh well. The issue is, if I actually kill the Undying, he's going to end up spawning for the enemy. So then they will have a permanent Undying. Eh, screw it. I don't care. This is glorious. I'm actually going to replace one of our one drops so we'll get another ephemeral. Um, since we have barrier, we might as well attack.
Hmm. Is there anyone we want to use the ghost thread on? I guess we'll use the ghost thread to save our other units so his quick attack will actually kill them. So, decent amount of damage, even though we had to fight our way through blockers. Also, yeah, he's just gonna have a board that's nothing but the Undying. Which, I think is a little funny. Alright, we'll wait and see how he attacks. Alright, we need to get rid of his spell shield. Although honestly, he's gonna uh, he's gonna level up, so that'll be good. Yeah, we'll try to see if we can still kill him this round, maybe. So he's going to kill Gwen. Uh, he won't quite die. How sad. Gwen still made an ephemeral copy of herself, though. Um... I guess let's actually play our Gwen, because she'll be, I guess, yeah, that should be fine. Hmm. Oh no. I was going to use Splinter Soul to make another sapling. That way I could drag two people away and Gwen would just end the game. But if I do Splinter Soul, it will summon the Poro Snack and we will cap out on units. But honestly, we're probably still fine. We have spell shield, so we are totally good. Did you see that? I did that. Me. So definitely not the speediest uh, build for Gwen, but it is fun to be able to play her in a very different way than uh, normal. Trifarian, always fun. Uh, yeah, let's keep going for uh, Champion. The messenger can be a pain sometimes. <laughs> All right, we don't need two copies of Gwen, but we'll hold on to the Butler and the Atrocity. Yeah, I'm ready. 
ready. <laughs> she just immediately levels up. Oh, that's pretty funny. some of these dogs. Interesting that made, that made them want to attack. I mean, alright, I guess. I think we'll play the butler here, because with Trifarian, he'll get rid of one of their more annoying cards. Alright, if he's gonna die, we might as well have him, or well, stun, but might as well have him kill something. That is unfortunate. Still have our atrocity counting down in case we need it. Are they trying to kill my Gwen? Is unfortunate. <laughs> A bit underdressed. All right, so they'll be able to do a bit of damage to us, but should be fine overall. We'll use our Splinter Souls here since we need to get the uh, mana. Or might as well use the mana. Just let us do a little bit more damage. And here we'll just attack. Between the burn damage and the atrocity, we should be able to win just fine. Wrong one, can't target the Nexus with that. Oh. 
Yeah, I feel like with this build, I actually need to rely on Gwen's deck instead of just immediately attacking and then rallying. I think Ruination with Grifters is pretty hilarious. Well, that's going to be pointless. We get an item for this, but the heroin would turn would actually be pretty, pretty fun to use. Yeah, I won't bother with the Cursed Abomination. Alright, let's go for the Dawn Speakers. They're always fun to kill. It is my favorite activity, killing Dawn Speakers. I think we'll re-roll all of these. Trying to get one of our one or two drops as well as Gwen. Or just, yeah, the Ruination. Oh man. It is very nice that we're starting off with the attack turn on most of these. Gwen is potentially going to kill both of these. Uh, here we go. He'll probably block with the tracker, though. Yep. I will not squander the great gifts I've been given. Be strong. These are dark times. A wolf for the lady. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, because of the Story Suppressor, we don't have enough mana to play our spells. They just keep summoning units. Uh, not quite enough, sad. Alright, we'll go with Overwhelm then. And just drag them to the side. Hopefully they block with the Dawn Speakers. So annoying that's just out of reach. What would this bring back? Will it tell me? Because if this brings back one of my units that has over five power, it'll strike one of them. All right, let's let's try it. No, nope. no. Nope. Won't say no to that. <laughs> uh, sure. Let's just have all these units die, giving us our increased hallowed buff. This would be great for an ASOL fight. Oh, 
All right, not bad. Every moment of this has been a joy. Uh, we'll go for one sapling toss. We have seven copies of Gwen. Uh, is there a card we want to cut? I mean, I guess let's get rid of the Withered Mist. It's a little expensive. I'm still going to hold on to the Ruination just in case. Uh, because if there's a good opportunity, I will definitely use that if possible. <laughs> We get rid of the Chronicler. I actually won't mind the Harrowing Return. Is that that one card? No, it's not the, the one that if you have an ally die, you play and it kills two enemies. Uh, they... They get to start with the attack token this time. Sad. This is going well. So we just attack this, we can get our Gwen out. Let's see if she can take care of these two. She's just gonna block that guy, isn't she? Oh no, she actually will block when. Well, that thing, that turned things around for us. So we'll pass here, see what else they have to play. So I'm saving this uh, in case we need it to counter what they are doing with their attack. Huh. I thought she would have challenged this unit. I mean, okay, I guess. Seems a little weird, but... sucks. Alright, let's do a fun little play to <laughs> chip them down, shall we? 
So they both would trigger the uh, Trifarian. No, let's just use our mana and get rid of their Shivana before she becomes a bigger pain. That's the thing I love with Shadow Isles, that you can actually treat your units as expendable. You're not necessarily trying to protect most of them. I think our Snip Step will be enough to kill them. Let's see. Yep. Alright, so that was a, um, yeah, a fun and interesting build. Definitely not the most optimal. Normally, uh, you can get it set up so that Gwen, you play her on four mana, she attacks and you just essentially instantly win. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. If you want to see that, definitely go check out my um, Gwen guide. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a nice build if you want a bit of a slower pace with Gwen and really just focus on her deck and not trying to just optimize and win as fast as possible. Sometimes it's nice to just go a little slower, take a step back, and just have an enjoyable experience. I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay though. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching that video all the way to the end. We're putting out daily Path of Champions content, so if that interests you, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and maybe even consider becoming a member. Have a great day.